start unit 7, which is called the egg drop soup. So usually we start with a PowerPoint presentation that reveals or includes the uh, new vocabulary words. And then we're going to go through the reading part or the story. So now let's review the PowerPoint presentation together. Let's start. Okay, so now we're going to see or view the first slide. Hmm. What do you think what this picture means or um, refers to? Is it refers, does it refer to years or something like that? As you can see, 2018, 2019, 2020. Yes, it does. What about the word annual? Annual. What, what do you think what it means? Let's see the example. The school trip has become an annual event. So does that mean that the school trip is done every year? Yes, exactly. So annual means happening once every year. So the word animal, yes, it has a very big relationship to the years and it means exactly that. Something that happens once every year, only once per year. Okay, let's see the second slide. Hmm, what can you see in the picture? Prisons, uh, like a mom or a big girl giving a prison to a baby. Is it, you see this, this um, tree? Is it related to Christmas? Yes, it is. Institution. Well, this word is a little bit challenging because the common meaning of the word institution means an organization, like a big building that has a lot of people work in or studying. Like, for example, um, institution means like a university. A company, a big company, a school, but here it has a different meaning. I know that I think it's like you have never been through it, but you will know it now. Hmm. Let's try to guess it through this example. Giving presents on Christmas is an institution. Huh? So what do you think? That means that it's like a habit or something that people always do. Yes, it is. So it's a custom or a tradition. Tradition means like a habit that has existed. Sorry. <laughs> a custom or a tradition that has existed for a long time and accepted as an important part of a society. So let's go back to the picture. Here, the, the girl is giving a present to the small girl. So that means that this is an institution. It has become a habit for people to receive gifts in Christmas. Like, for example, in, uh, in Ramadan, for example, what, what, people do in, what do people do in Ramadan generally? They visit each other. They um, get a lot of things to invite people, like they, they, um, they can... So people usually in Ramadan invite each other and like they have uh, good times together. So this is an institution, it's a habit that people always do. In, uh, in Easter, for example, or Shabbanisi, what do people do? What do they eat? You know, right? So it's like an institution, a habit or a tradition that people always go through. Okay, let's see. The third slide. I think you all know what this is, yeah? It's a stadium. It's a stadium. Okay. There were lots of excited fans in the basketball stadium. So this is a stadium. So what's the definition of a stadium? A stadium is a large closed area of land with rows of seats. Rows, this is rows, these are rows of seats around the sides and open with no roof. It has no roof, like most of the stadiums have no roof. And stadiums are
are used for sports or events. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think what this girl is? What does it mean if you can see this picture about these things? She is, I think she is brainy. What does brainy mean? When I refer to someone, I say that this guy is brainy. Let's see the example. He always was the brain, the brainy one, except at error. So that means that we are talking about a person or a guy or a boy who is really, really smart, but he is not smart at Arabic. So brainy means having or showing intelligence. So that means that brainy means someone who is really, really intelligent and smart, very clever. Okay. So, tell me what can you see? Who can tell me? What is this boy doing? He's like coughing things and he's holding the scissors. You know, you see what he's making? It's like small, uh, I don't know, what th these are uh, like uh, mice. So what do you think what this boy is? Huh? He's creative. He's
that word is softened the shock. It cushioned his leg. So, the knee pads will cushion your legs in case of falling. So, if you fell down, the, those or these cushion, uh, 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 knee pads will cushion your legs. So, it means the word cushion to make the effort or force, force of something softer. Softer, okay? So, for example, when you have a mobile phone and it has a cover, if, if it fell down, for example, you think it will break? It will not break because there is something that cushioned the mobile phone, okay? Let's see the next slide. Hmm. What do you think what this is? It's a shoe. You see how it looks like? Okay, absorb. I think you all took this word in science, right? Absorb is like to suck, like the sponge that absorbs water, right? So, let's see the example. Okay, you need to put on these shoes because they can absorb the shock while running. So, you see the shoes I'm wearing? No, this is not the one I want. <laughs> okay, uh, you see the shoes? Learn in the PowerPoint presentation. 
Okay? So I'm going to stress on it, but you have to be careful also because I want you to know how we're going to use it in that context. So let's start. Okay. Okay, everybody, it's that time of year. Said my science teacher, Mr. Beal. This Friday, you will have the annual egg drop challenge. Yes, annual. So highlight it, please. So that means that there is a challenge here and it's done every year. A couple of my classmates groaned, but no one was at all surprised. So that means it was fine for them. Mr. Beal's fifth grade egg drop challenge was an institution. Institution. That means that the challenge is done like a habit or a tradition that is happened at their school. Okay. Was an institution at my school. The goal or the target of the challenge was simple. You have to build a protective container to keep an egg from breaking when dropped over the stadium wall. So here the challenge is to make something that can protect the egg when it falls down. So it will not be uh, breaking. Okay. Bring your containers to class on Friday, Mr. Bill, Mr. Beal said. By the way, this year we're going to try something different. You can work alone or a partner. Okay. My best friend Casey and I grin at each other. You know what grin is? Grin is to, to do like this. Mm. Mm. So that means there's something common between them. We always work on projects together. She's brainy. Huh? Brainy. What, what does brainy mean? She's very smart. I created so. The girl Casey is smart and brainy and the girl is speaking as creative. So, so that means she's able to create music. We are the perfect combination like peanut butter and marshmallow cream, which happens to be my favorite kind of sandwich. I forgot to tell you to highlight the word stadium as well. Brainy and creative. Okay, now page 103. I made my favorite sandwich that afternoon while waiting for Casey to come over and work on the container. So now we are going to work on the containers that are needed for the project or for the challenge. Spreading the fluffy marshmallow cream gave me an idea. I have a brilliant design design for our egg container. So please highlight the word design. So the girl has a, um, like um, an idea or a design in the container. I said when Casey arrived, what? Casey asked eagerly. We can caution it, huh? Caution. Caution. Like we can put something to protect it. We can caution it with some marshmallow cream. Huh? You know, to absorb the shock of the impact of that shock. So here, the girl wants to caution the egg with marshmallow cream. Why? To absorb, to absorb the shock of the impact or the crash of the egg uh, on the ground. I explained. You've got to be kidding, Laura. You have a better idea? Casey pointed to a sketch in her notebook. So that seems like there is a better design that uh, her friend th thinks she, uh, she can do. Okay, Casey pointed to, to a sketch in her notebook. Actually, I do. We put the egg in a basket with a parachute attached, it will simply flow to safety. Okay, so here I think you understand uh, the first part. And here we have a challenge. Um, the challenge is to um, uh, 
protect an egg uh, from uh, breaking when it falls down. So who uh, had or who created this um, um, event? It's Mr. Beale at the children's school. So now there is a challenge between the two friends and each and every one of them have an idea how to protect the egg from breaking when it falls, uh, when they fall down. Okay, so uh, now let's end the first part and we're gonna start the uh, uh, second part later. Thank you very much.